Hey everyone, this is Jonathan Green of Moto America and many other things fast and furious. I'm currently having a good time on the airwaves, but when I'm in town, I listen to JL Unlimited. Because that's what you're listening to right now. JL Unlimited Radio. All right, people, we are on day two with the Dunlop Tire Test. And who else better to talk to than at least one of the main people in the Dunlop paddock who actually not just services, takes care of all the Dunlop riders in the Moto America paddock. Here we have Tony Romo from Dunlop Tires. Tony, hey, how you doing, brother? I'm good. How are you, Jordan? I'm loving life. It's good to see you, Tony. You too. Uh, as we talked through before, uh, you don't know me or know my audience very well. Uh, because we're new to the to the scene, I guess you could say. But as a supporter of Dunlop, I've been racing Dunlop for at least uh, going on 10, 12 years. But as a racer now, I've been following you for the past couple of years, seeing you actually come up. Well, I appreciate that, and, and, and uh, I appreciate your audience and to, that uh, take time to listen to this and maybe uh, uh, maybe take time to come out to a road race. You know, as you know, racing's not easy and tires are a big part of it. They're a big expense. Uh, you got to be on the right brand for yourself. And, uh, but no, I, I appreciate the time. Well, I want you to get off by, or start off by introducing who you are. Cause you can, like I said, you can imagine I'm covering the whole Southeast region, sure. Florida, all the way up to VIR, North Carolina, guys who may do some track days, stuff like that who may be trying to figure out what tire brand to go to and stuff like that. So I want you to kind of indulge them, tell them where you started, your whole life story background. I was five years old and my first grade teacher was, you know, so, <laughs> we can start with just motorcycle racing in okay. general. So, you know, uh, start off a long time ago, uh, track days I wanted to, to become a racer, but just wasn't fast enough. And after the first club race, I realized, uh, it wasn't for me. Uh, I loaned that motorcycle to somebody else, and they came in second in the pro race. So after that, I said, well, look, it's, I think I'm better at building them than I am racing. So, <laughs> I, and, and, and that turned into a career, uh, club racing, and then we kind of moved up all the way to World Superbike and the World Championship. Um, worked at Yamaha for 11 years on the factory team. Uh, and then this opportunity at Dunlop came up because I knew everyone in the paddock and had a lot of experience with tires. I uh, worked with Jim Allen for a lot of years, who is synonymous with Dunlop. I mean, he basically built the business of motorcycle racing for us here in the United States. Uh, single-handedly, he's very, uh, he wouldn't take credit for it, but he does. So, so I'd, I'd worked with him for many years, and uh, so this was kind of a no-brainer for me. The opportunity came up, and, uh, and that was 2010 when I joined the Dunlop crew, so... Uh, been there ever since. Um, it's not to say you're new to everything or new to Dunlop, mm -hmm. but you've been around it. What what decided to kind of sway you to become a Dunlop dealer, Dunlop technician? Now you're like, a, I see you everywhere. Yeah, I mean, I think, you know, just, just the opportunity to work with different riders. You know, there's a lot that goes with the tires. Uh, but it, it, when you're on a race team, you have one or two riders you get to work with. And they're all great. I've, I've had Really, I've been blessed, you know, to work with great riders like Anthony Gobert, uh, both the Boston brothers, Jamie Hacking. I mean, uh, just so many guys, all the way back to Chuck Graves, my first pro rider. So now he's a team owner, so that's cool. <laughs> but like anything else, you want to be able to, to broaden your, your, your whole – just to get an education on what each guy, how he prepares and how the team prepares. And, and this job allows me to do that. I can move from team to team and – see what's working for somebody and, and make sure that we get a product that works for all brands of motorcycle. So what was your first role coming into Dunlop? Were you just what we call a tire flipper? Or? No, no. I, I started as a tire technician. So, uh, you know, you, you go out and uh, work, work the pit wall. Um, the, uh, you worked on some contingency stuff when we had that, and, uh, kind of looking over the contingency payouts and working with the club racing. Just kind of filled some holes that, that they didn't have. Um, but for the most part, I work at the pit wall, uh, based out of Buffalo, New York, go to the office every day, uh, work in the warehouse, work out on the shop floor, and make sure that all the tires, uh, everything gets what uh, we get what we need every time, and it's loaded properly in inventory, and then we work with Moto America and, and their staff. So, uh, yeah, pretty much from the pit wall back here to the truck service, I'm, I'm pretty busy about it. Good Lord. So you, you're, you're uh, I guess, one of the bosses is Steve... And he's 
obviously very busy uh, supplying everybody, everybody's needs uh, via email or through the website. Yeah, well, so, so Steve, uh, you know, Steve Brubaker of RTS, uh, Race Tire Services, he's our national distributor on the club level. So if, if you need a tire, uh, you're going to go club racing uh, for, or even just a track day, he's got sub distributors there and they're well trained, well versed, they have a direct connection to us. What one of the things most people don't understand or they don't know is we are the only North American tire company that makes motorcycle tires in America. And that's exclusive. We also have an exclusive uh, test track in North America, which is uh, in Huntsville, Alabama, just for motorcycles. And so he has a direct pipeline to us. So, and, and that really helps the club races and the track days. If, if there's a concern or they require something a little different, it's not a problem. They call us and we can go ahead and engineer something and maybe get it out in the next six months. Whereas with other brands, it just isn't that quick. So Steve, Steve's our national distributor for club racing and track days. And then uh, for the corporate office where I work in Buffalo, New York, um, you know, we have we, we have all, all the corporate people there. Mike Buckley's our vice president. I work for Mick Jackson, who's a, a lead, uh, lead engineer in our department. And uh, But that, that's a little bit of a different deal. So we, we work exclusively with the Moto America people or if some of our teams need, uh, are going to go somewhere else uh, abroad, like Yoshimura went to Malaysia, we went in and supported that, and Mick Jackson and myself went to do that. Um, so that's uh, it, it's two separate roles, but we work very closely together. So we're here at your guys' tire test for 2017. Yes, sir. Here at Circuit of Americas. First question, why are we here? Uh, you know, what... During, during the course of the year, our engineers work very hard. They have a lot of uh, ideas, and they'll come up with quite a few prototypes during the year. And if you really want to get the best test, you got to go with the pro riders, and you got to get them all in one spot and where they're all trying to really go fast. So what we'll do is we'll kind of gather all those specs up during the winter. Uh, we'll kind of weed through them with some of our uh, in-house test riders uh, in Huntsville. When we, when we weed all that out, just narrow down the specs, we'll come here, and that gives us a, a true direction to improve the product. Uh, we'll do that at the beginning of the year like this, and then hopefully before the end of the year we'll have some proven product and be able to uh, mass produce it. So after everybody has been uh, testing, playing around with everything, trying to tweak these tires yeah. just right, try to get them just perfect, okay, bring them to the racers. Yeah. So two days of tech, I, I guess you say testing, not just officially testing, but you're actually still tweaking things. Am I correct? Oh, yeah. Correct. I mean, it, we'll, we'll narrow it down again. You know, like I said, our, our guys in Huntsville will narrow down the, the, our choices, you know, our specs. And then these guys, again, will do the same thing because sometimes it, it takes a real pro rider to be able to really tell you, yes, they're really close, but for sure this one is better. And we might go through five specs and narrow it down to two and, and then finally to one. So, um and that's better for the consumer as well. We don't want to have too many choices. That's what we find is our, our consumers ask us, you know, I'd love to have five different front tire specs or 10 different rears, you know, for per track. But that's just not realistic because most guys can't afford it. You know, you really want a, a soft, medium, and a hard tire that a guy could do all day on a track day or a guy that wants to win races can just keep putting a soft on you know, per race and, and, and win the races. So um, you don't want too many choices. But when you do improve the product, you want it to actually be an improvement, not just a little bit. You want it to actually work. So I always noticed from uh, from the Dunlop website, they always have this fantastic map that kind of gives you the level of tire, what it kind of pertains to street riding or track day riding and then race riding or race day specifically just for racing. Does people understand do people really understand that grip level or do they understand that technology kind of goes behind yeah. it? I, I mean, I think, you know, for, for most of your audience, uh, they're going to be hyper sport riders. Or, uh, that's basically what we call the GSXR class or something like that or the R6, R1 kind of thing. And that's a Q3 plus product. For 99% of the people, that's going to get the job done. You go to any dealership and buy them, they, um, no tire warmers required, and they wear like iron now with the with the Q3 Plus uh, harder center, but still get performance. Those go right into a track day. And the beauty about that is you don't have to, again, you don't, no tire warmers required. You ride your bike the track day, and then you ride at home. For the, the people that want to get into more aggressive riding or they want to go do some racing schools, that's when we go into our race line product, and those are sold exclusively through the race tire distributors. So, um, But 
like I said, hyper sport riding, even a sport touring. That we, we have a tire that fits every uh, every kind of riding. Um, but I think the Q3 Plus is going to be your, your probably the all around choice. We've done a lot. Of, you know, we we I've known them for many years, and other people have known them for maybe one or two things. But they may not understand the line that you actually carry: dirt, street, correct, quad, uh, off road, on road, uh, ribs. Right. Well, and, and, and one of the big ones that we took over a couple of years ago was Flat Track. So Flat Track used to be uh, manufactured by our parent company, Goodyear, at the time. Uh, when Goodyear got out of that business, we went ahead and jumped on that. And if you if anybody follows Flat, Flat Track out there, it's really big with the Harley Davidson crowd. And uh, I mean, it's 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 a really good spectacle to watch. Uh, but we're also spec tire in that too. So we sell we import those all over the world. So Dunlop is pretty much the way to go. Uh, I believe so, yeah. <laughs> but like I said, I, I think if you just look at it, like I said, look at our website, you, you're going to find that we have a tire that's going to fit your motorcycle, good quality and uh, at, at an exceptional value. Um, and uh, made in America, I mean, that's all I can say. Oh, we can say more. <laughs> <laughs> now, with the tires that we're testing now, can you tell me what are we testing and what are we actually looking for? I think, I think, you know, the riders always want a, more grip, right? I mean, they always want to go fast. But the problem is with more grip, it kind of tends to be softer in the compound. So we're going to lose durability, which would be okay if these races were six laps long, like club races. Uh, these races are typically, you know, 15 to 20 laps long. So um, what we're looking for is we're looking for uh, more grip, better tire life, and uh, they can always get more feel. You know, they always want to know what the tire's doing. Uh, and that, that's a difficult thing to get all three, uh, you know, durability, grip, and feel. Uh, but that's what we're trying to do. And, and we're, we're also testing a couple of different sizes, a couple of different constructions uh, to see if, if that's going to help. Profiles, um, uh, different materials, uh, sometimes just different manufacturers uh, from the same material can affect the way the tire reacts. So there's all these changes that we're always looking for. Um, and we we go ahead and wait and see uh, see what the results are at the end of the day. So we're in day two of this test. Have you gotten any feedback from your riders? Are they all positive? Some things we can improve on. Some things are pretty just way out left field. Yeah, yeah. I mean, not not, not everything's going to work, you know. So uh, yeah, but we've been able to narrow it down, and every, the consensus is is, uh, is very positive. You know, I mean, a, a lot of the feedback puts us right there. We've been, been able to narrow them down even from the, all the pro riders are picking the, the same tire, um, so that's good. Uh, now we just got to decide how we're going to when we would introduce it and how we would industrialize it, you know, because these are all prototypes. So we have to make sure that we can take it back to the factory and uh, industrialize the spec to make sure that it can be built on a mass uh, scale. Gotcha. Now, today, you guys, not just you, RST, Racetrack Services, yourself as Dunlop Tires, uh, you have another avenue of Dunlop that you guys actually had yesterday, which was the dealer uh, extravaganza is what I like to call it. You know, me being small media, you know, I wasn't invited to it. You know, I'm I'm not gonna I'm not gonna whine about it. You know, yeah, you're now. So, like, <laughs> <laughs> so can you uh, talk a little bit about that? Because I mean, I think yeah. another yeah. gentleman was taking care of that. Yeah, and and so uh, the, our, that's on the sales side. Uh, and so what what that is? That's our pro dealer program. So you can go on the internet uh, and, and you go to our website and it'll show you the pro dealer program. Then and, and it really uh, it, it's. It's for dealers to sign up to uh, run a certain amount of Dunlop product or carry a certain amount of Dunlop product. Um, and when you do that, it comes with like free towing service. There's a lot of perks for the customer that way. So if you get stalled out somewhere, you go to a pro dealer, you call up and say, look, I, uh, I'm, I'm committed to purchase a Dunlop tire when I get there because I'm flat. Well, there's there's free towing to, to a certain, uh, I think there's a mileage restriction. 25 miles. It's something. Miles. something. Yeah, I, I, I'd be, okay. you know, I, I don't work Thank you, AAA, for much. screwing us all. Yeah, <laughs> well, right. <laughs> but you know what I mean? And, and, and it, it's, a, it's a program that's really good for the good visibility for them, and it's good visibility for us. But I, I think it's really customer-oriented, really trying to take care of the customers and making it easier to find those people with the hours and make sure they have the right inventory for, for their area because what – what people might need here in Texas is a lot different than people need in Utah. Right. So we want to make sure we have the right, uh, you know, the right uh, inventory on hand and that we're getting it to the customers. So that, that's kind of what that was. About. And that was also the introduction of the Q3 plus same performance, maybe a little bit better and but much better on the mileage. So. 
whoever that boss is, maybe you want to talk to him next time and be like, hey, you know, Jordan Long Unlimited's radio show, you know, could have talked to these dealers, then could have been, you know, more exposure for them to get them, you know, better, just better sales. Yep. More inventory, uh, more uh, inventory, uh, uh, happier definitely, customers. Uh, definitely talk to them. We'll, we'll make that happen, right? I, I think so. We heard that from Tony Romo himself. So uh, if anything happens, we can just press rewind. And uh, <laughs> I have proof. <laughs> we want to thank Tony for uh, spending a little bit of time with, with us. We, we've run over our time, like way over our time, because Tony thought he was just going to be here for about you know five minutes. And, uh, yeah, we was able to uh, definitely have a nice, long, breathable conversation with him. Yep. And hopefully if anything else comes up with Dunlop, he would definitely invite us. Of course. <laughs> and like I said, if you, if the websites are DunlopRacing.com. That's going to be uh, race tire services for the race stuff. And then DunlopMotorcycleTires.com, and that's everything. Cons- uh, yeah, if you have any, uh, anything I didn't cover, please go to those websites. And if you haven't been riding a Dunlop tire, you're behind a power curve. Point blank, simple. <laughs>